Hey guys, welcome back. Um, or I never know what to say there. Hi. <laughs> Anyways, so I know it's been quite some time since I've made a video and I I really do apologize. It's just been over the holidays, Christmas, New Year's, spending time with my family and traveling back and forth. It's just been really hard to kind of fit the time in to make a video and I actually tried to do it while I was driving and the sound was really bad. Anyways, so last week's talk I was going to do the biopsy and fortunately on December 21st I received my results that I am cancer free. Um, still kind of crazy to say that out loud. <clears throat> Makes me quite emotional just to think that my journey has kind of come full circle and I don't know if we can say over, but the cancer part at least is over. Um, I'm just so excited, guys. I don't even know how to, how to not necessarily truly believe it, but it's just been one of those things that I kind of have to pinch myself over and over, like, you're cancer-free. Um, I reached out to a dietitian, and I've been kind of learning furthermore into um, how to better or how to eat things in which are PCOS friendly because I've been doing more research as to what we should be eating and what we shouldn't be just because I've heard things in the past that someone with PCOS um, actually shouldn't be eating dairy. Of course, we shouldn't be eating heavy carbs, but um, I just kind of wanted to get some more information from her as to the truth behind that and we did speak a lot about that. We changed my calorie intake, put me on a 40-30-30 regimen. Um, so I'm kind of excited. Um, since I stopped taking the medicine, I have actually lost approximately, ooh, sorry guys, approximately almost seven pounds. So <laughs> quite excited. Like I said, I stopped taking the Megase as of December 21st. I took it that morning and I stopped taking it. I didn't have to take it again after that once I found the results out. Um, now, as of now, I'm currently waiting to um, hear from the fertility doctor um, to schedule my appointment. We do know that we obviously have to remove my IUD, so um, we're just waiting to hear from them and to obviously schedule that appointment or schedule that procedure because I will have to have um, a hysteroscopy because of my cervix currently sitting too high and the doctor not being able to see it or feel it so sorry that's tmi <laughs> but um it's just been really crazy guys like i just i i know that i'm cancer free but when you've been with it for so long and it's been something that you're trying to get rid of and it's taking a toll on you emotionally it's just wow like and the fact that I was, you know, even considering having a hysterectomy, like, I'm so blessed, guys, that I actually sought out another doctor and she gave me the opportunity to kind of reevaluate what was going on because my life could have been completely different right now. And I'm so, so blessed. Um, I really didn't want to ramble, but I just want to let you guys know, like, what's happening and that you can come out on the other side. Just... Please do your research. Please educate yourself and understand what's happening with your body. Be the person that stands up for you because if you don't, nobody else is going to do it. And I know that sounds so corny or cliche, but it's the truth. Like, I let that first doctor tell me exactly what to do. Um, a lot of my questions went unanswered. All about my PCOS, I asked many times, you know, are we trying to regulate it or, or get it to a better state? Because I feel like if the PCOS is what brought on the cancer, then why are we not treating or trying to manage my PCOS? And I was always told that's not his job. So um, that's in the past. I, I get very frustrated thinking about that because I could have been probably in a better state a long time ago. But um, this is what was meant to happen. And I know God has a plan for me. And I'm much better placed now than I was before. And... I'm just so excited guys um as I said the ovocetol has really really helped I don't have clear solid proof that the ovocetol is what allowed me to be cancer free but that is the only thing that changed from one biopsy to the next and as I said 
I kept asking, why are we not managing my PCOS? Why are we not trying to get myself at a better place so that my body can actually accept the medication that's trying to treat the cancer? And nobody could ever answer that question. And thankfully, I took things into my own hands. I started taking the Ovacetol, and here I am, guys. Um, I... I am forever grateful for finding Theralogix and their products. Um, currently, I've been looking into some other things that um, could potentially help me, but as of right now, I take Ovacetol religiously every morning and every evening with my meals. Um, I'm, I'm just so thankful that I was able to find a product that has really, really helped my body. Again, if this is something you're interested in looking into, just... Uh, Google Theralogix or Ovacetol and Theralogix and you'll be able to find their products and what they can do. By no means am I a spokesperson or am I sponsored in any way. It's just a product in which I really, really believe in. And, you know, you may not get the same results as I did. Um, not saying that you're going to come out cancer free, but I've had other um, symptoms that have subsided and I've noticed um, big changes. So, it's definitely something that can benefit you just because your body's not able to do what it's naturally supposed to do. So, um, again, not sponsored in any way. Do not come at me if you don't get results like I did, but I have seen a lot of patients, or not patients, but um, women who I've spoken with over social media who've had really good results from um, the consumption of inositol. So, again, guys, if you have questions, if you have any kind of concerns, if you just want to talk, if you need to vent, if you need someone to talk to who, you know, maybe is not going through the same things you are and you just need someone to speak to, like, please don't hesitate to message me. I'm always here and open to speak to women. Again, like, I'm not an expert, but maybe you know something I don't and vice versa and we can help each other and we need to stick together. I've said that before. We need to help one another and stick together and be stronger for one another you know we're experiencing these things together so um i know i rambled on quite a bit but i just wanted to break the news to you guys i am cancer free um but um happy new years hopefully this year brings you many blessings and i am so excited for the future and to finally be able to start to try to have a baby i am beside myself just thinking of that <sighs> I can't wait guys um so here we are to the next journey keeping up with V now we are on to trying to conceive so if you guys don't mind I hope you will keep following my journey and just see where things go and who knows maybe by the end of the year we will have a baby um till next time guys thank you so much for watching my videos bye